country. So I was excited just to see what it would be like. To be honest, I really wasn't thinking about playing really at all. I was just thinking about coming to Africa. And I don't think I really wrapped my head around the fact that we were going to be in Africa. Leaving South Bend, I was really anxious and excited, but not really sure what it was for or what to expect. So it was kind of a, an unknown feeling that I had. Germany was awesome. I was glad we got to do that just to see Europe, but I thought it was great. You know, the people, the, the culture, the, the food and everything. I mean, I was just taking pictures the whole time. It was, it was cool. I'd like to go back. I didn't really expect when I heard about going to Zimbabwe that we were going to be able to go to Germany. Another country that I got to visit and just another culture, culture we got to see. Well, I've never been in like a soccer, like a, such a huge soccer specific stadium um, in Europe. I know how big it is and um, it was really cool to see how they care for it and how special it is to them. So uh, it was really cool they let us on the field also. It's very special year for me and I hope this three weeks will be, will be good for my players. We got off the plane and it was cool, it was, it, you know, it was very flat, very open. I, I guess it looked like what I would picture Africa to be. But. When we walked into the airport in Zimbabwe, there were bugs all over the airport. <laughs> Didn't know what to expect, and obviously I've heard it was a third world country, and just, uh, you know, as soon as we stepped out, you could see nothing but jungle, really, outside of the parking lot. I knew Bulawayu was one of the, was the second biggest city, so I kind of figured the airport might be a little bit bigger, but as we kind of drove out, it, it was what I expected in a little bit, but I also, it was also a lot different. Eating at Dickie's when we first got here, I actually did eat it all. It was, I mean, it was pretty good. I got the chicken with the, with the salsa. It was definitely different and the salsa is something that no one's, I don't think has gotten used to yet. Yeah, the food's very different and it's funny because they'll, they'll bring out three different entrees and you never really know what you're gonna get. I usually get told at home to stop eating with my hands, so it wasn't a huge culture shock for me. I was excited, I think, so you hear some guys, you know, say they really like it. Some guys say it doesn't taste like American chicken. And I say, well, that's the whole point. African chicken doesn't taste like American chicken. First meal, I was really nervous to eat at Dickie's. Uh, the lady came around with the, you know, the hand wash and the, you know, the little jug that she had. And the chicken was delicious. It was just, you know, kind of different for me. The first training session we had here was, was kind of rough. The field was very hard. We played at a local school and um, the field was rock hard so it was, people took some time to get used to it. The ball was bouncing, kind of unpredictable. The first session, first training session wasn't too terrible, I didn't think, uh, on the legs anyways. I think it was almost, I was excited. I didn't even realize that my body was probably tired. Just fun to be in Africa and be playing soccer. With it being winter here and there being no rain around, it was really hard. It was like rock hard surface. I was wearing turf shoes on the grass. Every ball you touched flew up two feet in the air. So. It was crazy, and then the kids got released for lunch, and they were just all watching us around the field, and they were oohs and ahs going everywhere, and it was just pretty cool to see how into the practice they were. Everywhere that we've been with, with the kids running around, the fans are so vocal. They're cheering and everything. They, 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 you can tell they really appreciate the game. And, and having the little kids come and yell and high-five you and everything, I mean, it's crazy. And that's something that I feel like you don't always get at home. It's definitely a, a rarity. You'll get kids here and there, but. Here, the, the people are just so excited to kind of give you a high five, wave. Uh, we drive on the bus and you wave to every single stranger. You pass on the street and they all smile and wave back. It's, it's very cool. It's a very cool culture of people who are very happy. 